Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Uh, we're looking at a decent day. Dry, 52, some sunshine. Uh, Going to be much better than over the weekend. A uh, little bit of business to take care of, Candy. We have a lot of things going on. Uh, number one, we are less than two weeks from our secret holiday show. It'll happen a week from this Friday, the 15th of December oh at Mulcahy's. I mean, that's I right around the corner. Less than two weeks. Moles.com wow. for those tickets. Uh, really fun. Uh, and it is uh, presented by our good friends at the Jewelry Clinic of Riverhead, Sunrise Toyota, and Rocka Vaca. Uh, they're great. This Friday, the 8th, our toy drive at Brookhaven Town Hall, 8 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon, a new unwrapped toy. Please bring what you can. Uh, every year we get so lucky with all the donations. Uh, by the way, everything I'm talking about, if you go to our Instagram or Facebook and just scroll, it, it's the last couple of posts you'll see all of this stuff. And last but not least, which also I uh, just put up yesterday, we are doing a 12 Days of Christmas text contest, but check this out. So you text the word Santa to 631-676-7496. And by the way, again, it's up on our socials. And every 12 days, every weekday, from today through the 19th of December, the next 12 weekdays, we're selecting a winner. The winner will get a pair of tickets to the concert of their choice. Love it. We're also giving away, over the course of the 12 days, five rooms for overnight stay at Jake's 58 Casino Hotel here uh, off the LIE. So we got that. Yep. And Enrico's Jewelers has a $250 gift basket to give away as well. Oh, I would like that. And the final cherry on top, the partridge in a pear tree, whatever you want to call it. We have the grand prize day 12 winner is going to get a bunch of that stuff plus a pair of tickets to every country show we announce for the summer season at Catholic Health Amphitheater, Candy. Really nice packages going on there. Yeah. Uh, Our good friends and Enrico's Jewelers and Jake's 58 are uh, presenting this one again all on our socials. You don't have to be writing anything down. Just uh, go check my country. Uh, 961 on Instagram, Facebook. You'll be all set. Um, I want to get to this story uh, I've been talking about this morning because, you know, some fast food places, uh, you know, they they don't know how to have a good time. Like, I'll give you one that does. (laughs) I'll give you one that does. All right. Wendy's, whoever runs Wendy's Twitter account or now X account, um, Uh, You know, it's no longer Twitter. It's called X, right? Um, Whoever runs their account, very good. They write, they they like uh, fight with people, you know, tongue in cheek kind of stuff. They're very, they have some catchy stuff on there. So Chipotle is getting in on the action. You ever walk into a Chipotle? I've never been to a Chipotle. Oh, all right. So for anyone who has, you could take your own napkins when you're done. You take your own napkins. And like most places, Candy, when you have the ability to take your own napkins. I take a lot. You're taking a stack for the car, right? Uh, absolutely. I, I have to have some form of napkins, tissues, paper towels in my car at all times. Right. So Chipotle knows this. And I, I do it. Everyone does it. If everyone you don't... does it. Uh, right. Everyone does it. So they're taking a playful jab at everyone who takes way too many napkins to put in their their car. They put on sale something they call the Chipotle car napkin holder. I love this. All all it is really is a tissue holder that connects to a visor and you can shove your napkins in there and they put the logo on it and they're selling each one. This is the crazy part. They're selling each one for $30. Oh my goodness. Do you know they sold out over the weekend. I was going to say that's the gift you can get me this season. They sold out. Genius. Marketing, now, whoever thought of this, kudos to you. Genius. I love it. Well done. And yeah, look, everyone in life has a choice. You don't have to buy the $30 napkin no, holder. No, right? and many people would not, but right. a lot so, would. I, I think it's very cute what you they did. You want one, don't you? No, no. See, at the bottom of the article, it says here that, uh, as you'd imagine, Amazon 
has the same exact thing without the Chipotle logo for 10 bucks. if you Didn't want I didn't know one. that. Oh, look at this. Yeah. I, I'm living in the dark because I'm it's, not on TikTok and that's right. Twitter and all of that. That's right. So there you go. I thought that was cute by Chipotle. They did Adorable. A great marketing idea. Yeah. And here's another one. Before we get to national days and good news, um, you know, you should always get out and vote, especially the politician running for election. Some guy in a small town in Washington state lost his city council election by one vote because he thought it was too narcissistic to vote for himself. Oh, uh, I told you the story what happened to me once. We're a what? Little, uh, we, in our little small town where my kids grew up. Right. We had a neighbor who was running for whatever seat, you know, to, on some board in town, and we couldn't stand him. And I kept saying to my, my ex-husband now at the time, you got to go vote, you got to go vote, you got to go vote. And then he didn't vote, and the guy won by one vote. Oh, killer. That is killer. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, it's a story of your life, Candy. You were not yes. in the, not good luck at that point. No. I'm sorry. So I get this. So the small town of Rainier, Washington, near Seattle, they had this election. The two guys running were Damian Green and Ryan Roth. Uh, Ryan won by a single vote. They even had to do a recount. He won 247 to 246 because Damian didn't want to vote for himself. Uh, Ryan also thought about not voting for himself, but his wife convinced him to. I mean, how can you not? And by the way, Damien's taking it in stride. He's not complaining. He wished the other guy well and says, I'll run again next time. And vote for myself. Yeah, let's hope he uh, remembers to go out there and, and do that. Um, National Days, Candy. It is Santa's List Day. You're supposed to make sure... Oh. That list goes out by today for yes, Santa. Yes, I've been on it, and I'm wrapping as I go this year, and i got to tell you, it's going to pay off in the end. Good. I yeah. wrapped for about an hour or so yesterday. I've got everything I've bought so far wrapped up. Good. Don't don't wait till the last minute. You're doing good. No, I... because then it becomes a, a chore, hours-long mm. chore. And That's like right. That. Uh, it's Cabernet Franc Day today. What's Franc? What does I don't, that mean? It's a one, F-R-A-N-C. I love Cabernet, but I don't think I've ever you, heard of that. You never, Cab Franc? It's a, no. it's a, it's, um, it's, it's a, it's a wine. It's, I guess it's the, it's considered the father of Cabernet Sauvignon. Oh, well, I did not know this. Yes, uh, <laughs> they were, the Cabernet Franc and the Sauvignon Blanc were forged together to make the Cabernet Sauvignon candy. Oh, I did, look at you. <laughs> yes. This is Fascinating. I'm reading it, by the way, in case I you I love didn't it. Know. You read it very well. Very convincing. Thank you. It's Wildlife Conservation Day today. Every day should be that. Don't oh, you? We, lo we love it. We love, love it. it. Love it. Um, I love watching uh, beluga whales on TikTok. They are... they. They play with the, the kids through the glass. I, I, Unbelievable. I, Unbelievable. And then there's some gorilla TikToks. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, with the baby they show him. Oh, my oh. goodness. What a good one. Amazing. Um, and by the way, yes, it's, it's sad. They should be uh, free running around. I understand. Yeah. Um, yes. It's also International Cheetah Day, like out in the wild. All right. Good. I'm glad you defined that because, yes. yeah, yes, no. yes. We love cheetahs in the wild, yes. Beautiful animal, yeah. Uh, it's National Sock Day. What's your sock collection like? It's a, It's adequate. I don't need any, uh, but I could always buy new ones. I always go after the holidays and, you know, when they're all on sale and pick up some for the whole year. But I love mm. socks. During the winter, now in the summer, I don't wear socks at all when it's warm. But in the winter, socks are my friend. Sure. Uh, it's National Dice Day today. What do you mean? Dice, like dice, get like oh, uh, roll dice. I like Got it. Yeah. Play Monopoly, roll dice, whatever. It's national dicing vegetables. I didn't know yeah. what this was. National Dice Day. I, th I used Got to play it. Boggle. Remember Boggle? I used to I love do. that. I do. Yeah. Uh, it's and it's National Cookie Day. And before you even answer, um, Dana last night, without knowing, made chocolate chip cookies before bed. And without you knowing? No, I knew, and I had a couple before I went to sleep. Ah, uh, um, there's it is, nothing like. A fresh cookie out of the oven. Nothing like it. The best dessert of all time. And you all can, time. listen, we could debate. I'm open to a debate. The chocolate chip cookie right out of the oven is untouched as the best dessert ever. 
I'm going to agree with you. No, I love creme brulee. And if you hand me one of those, I'm going to be very, very happy. But that being said, yes, I wholeheartedly agree with you. Uh, not every cookie is created equal, and they must be right out of the oven. Right out of the oven. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do for my Christmas Eve party this year is make batter and then bake them as the party is going. So we'll have hot, oh. fresh cookies. Mouth and then is give watering. Tins of them to take home. That is my goal for my party this year. Mouth is watering. And by the way, so just a quick note before we go, because it just sparked a memory. Last night before I took Leah to tennis, um, Barbecue Tom was texting me and sent me pictures. He was cooking... Uh, he was cooking like burnt ends, pork belly burnt ends. Oh, I love that. Um, he said that is so uh, bad for you. But oh my so god, so good. He he had uh brown sugar, a uh, barbecue oh. sauce, and Mike's hot honey on them. Oh. And he said they'll be done at you know in a couple hours. I said, well, I'll be at tennis. He said, all right, if they're any good, I'll text you while you're on your way home. You'll have to stop and try. Now I never got the text, so maybe they didn't maybe come out they the were. way. Or he... maybe he ate them all. Or maybe he said, you know what? Why am I catering to this guy? Absolutely. And any one of those answers would have been appropriate. And I got scared that he was going to deliver them to you where you were. And I was going to have to put my foot down and say, that's enough. No. And, you know, the love is so strong there that if (laughs) if he was eating them and they were that good and he said... I, I I cannot give away any of these. Candy, I understand. I get that. It's sort of like, Candy, you want to offer a piece, but just take one. A thousand percent. He has nothing to be ashamed of. No. If he kept it all for himself. Nothing I at all. I would love to try that, though. It sounds really good. Yeah. Next time. Uh, Candy, that's it. We're out the door. Uh, I'm here till noon. Um, and, of course... Uh, We want you to have a great rest of your day, okay? I want you to have a great day as well. Monday in the books. Yes, thanks to Ryan and Amanda, our great producers. Got a decent day up to 52 and dry. Let's hit the roads. My country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country, 96.1.